okay so we have seen that we are not able to click on this gold loan right so in the previous session it was failing here so the ui what you are seeing is in ui and li tag if you move your mouse here and right click and say inspect element fine so you can see the output here or you can open firebug and firepark okay even that will be fine so if you see here it is li so all these are ui li tags if you come across like this then you have to be very careful so the normal way how do you define find element by dot click that might not work and there are chances of failing when there is ui li tags for that first you have to handle with the help of actions okay so you need to go to the actions class to handle those test cases but unfortunately we are not able to handle with actions also we are able to but we are getting some uh, inconsistency error and it's not properly clicking on it okay so for that what i am doing is let me take again the object of gold loan and okay all right i'll do one thing let me open the regular firefox browser and there i can open the firebug and explain you okay right so i'll take a firebug right so apply now go loan right click and say inspect element inspect in fire path okay so okay it's in css let's go to x path let me remove this apply now go loan inspect and fire path so here this is the next path for us but unfortunately we are not able to click on it with the help of uh, this x path so let's do some tricky way here and we are sure that this is the object which we need to identify and href go loan okay so let me write for css select r for this and okay so yeah before that let's say a dot let's move to that element move to the element and here driver dot find element this time i'll go with css so whenever there is ui li tag better to go with css selector so now and how should i identify it or uh, let me write a anchor tag name attribute i'll take href i'll go with regular expression dot star okay star equals to uh, gold loan okay this is take this object and place it here see we are going with regular expression that means we are just taking a part of text from href attribute and i am providing star here that means it says that go and verify the name called gold loan in href variable if it finds in this total href a value then it goes and click on it because we are doing it with regular expression star means we are just putting a matching object this gold loan will be matched with all the href attributes which have the tag name a in the page so however we are trying to click on gold loan so so gold loan name will be there for only this object so it will directly identify this place so let me close it href okay let's go back to css and click on enter right so it's success that means whatever object we provided here is matching if not it will throw an error for example i'll remove single letter here and say see that there is no code is displaying here that means the css what you have provided was not correct gold loan yeah this is the one 
co copy this and it here you have to be careful right so in manually how you will achieve this task first you will move your mouse right and then come down first you will come down to gold loan that means you will move your mouse pointer to the gold loan right this is how you do so first let's move to that rather than clicking it dot move to element this will just move to that element that's it let's move them we will try to click in the next step build dot perform okay right so once this step is executed our mouse will stand here right okay so let's give the sleep for two more seconds so that it will properly uh, it will be properly moved to that particular place now manually what you will have to you will click now right once you move here let's wait two seconds and click on it now for click or you can just go directly now after we move basically that got highlighted so driver dot find element you can use normal object now so just to go to that particular place with a mouse pointer we have used actions so once we identified it and our mouse our mouse points to this now you can properly click it with the driver dot find element see it's up to you uh, how you design to make it work okay sometimes this might not work right you we just cannot uh, claim on uh, selenium guys so we have to come up with alternatives so what happened is uh, in the last lecture right so if i just keep pro give click like this script is getting failed of course this is correct this is how we write syntax and how we are doing from the our past lectures but there might be some tweaks in a browser handling and might be at selenium level which we are not able to handle this it's clicking but the other browser is not getting open fine so just give try this the code might be the browser uh, there might be some browser rendering problem if they fix it definitely this code will work but unfortunately now at this moment this is not working okay so let me just run and see will it work or not for now if this works then it's cool okay i'm trying to launch it so there are you know lot of alternatives with you to handle our web web page just try with and driver dot dot click if it fails go for actions and then try with xpath css okay apply now the mouse pointer will be moved to gold loan it what is 2 seconds and clicked but nothing happened okay once you click here properly other window should get pop up that is our requirement okay so that's what i am saying it's not happening but this is how we do but there is an alternate way so what i tried is so in general if you are just navigating to this page manually i'll move my mouse to home loan and i'll click enter okay even now the browser is getting open fine so basically enter however works clicking it's nothing but just pressing an enter so i moved to the gold loan and clicked on enter browser got open so that i can start working this new browser with the help of driver dot get a uh, window handles which we have seen in the last section okay you can go through my last lecture and follow the code to automate the child window fine so we we have a basic idea that on clicking enter also it's working so right now in our automation this is not happening so let's try by clicking on enter on that particular gold loan dot send keys we have we know right how to click on enter keys dot enter fine so that might be a bug at a browser level or it might be a bug from website level or it might be at, at selenium level we are not sure but we have to uh, carry on our alternatives to make it work okay uh, let's try with providing send keys keys dot enter okay 
so even this works as same we are actually navigating to other page authentic is the browser started yeah so we are basically simulating the real time manual scenario i am just moving mouse and then slowly i am bringing mouse to gold loan i am waiting 2 seconds i am clicking enter on it okay see that window got pop up now it's working as gem fine so you know this is alternate tweak what you need to do to make it work if if especially for ui li tags only you will face this issue right these are basically are uh, written in such a way that uh, selenium if you check in google also uh, there are a lot of failures you see uh, for selenium when handling with ui li tags but there is an alternate to handle it however we have done like this which with which we are able to achieve our task and the new window got opened here you can see that okay so okay so what i suggest you to is just be careful when you are dealing with ui li tags okay sometimes normal way of writing our automation script might not work but there is no need of panic just try the alternatives think how you are doing manually like just moving your mouse and waiting a few seconds or you can try whether you are able to handle it with the help of keyword events okay enter like that right so once the new window is open i think from here you can follow my previous lecture and complete the uh, child window handling right so in the previous lecture i have written code how to get the window handles and how to switch to particular window how to get the idea of the child window okay so you can take the reference of my previous lecture and finish up your task fine so thank you guys